The Mandalorian Season 3 – All Updated Details Fans of the unexpected hit, The Mandalorian, have plenty to expect from its upcoming new season, especially since a major shift in another show, The Book of Boba Fett, revealed what possible direction the series might move to. From deeper ramifications to the Star Wars lore, and what ties our favorite Mando to the fate of Mandalore, there's nothing but excitement as we further await the new season premiere. So strap in your seats as we go through Lightspeed and discuss The Mandalorian Season 3. All updated details. Spoiler warning! Kyber crystal clear details from The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett will be discussed on this video. So if you haven't gone through your Tusken walkabout yet, better get caught up or you might never get to crawl out of that Sarlacc pit. Welcome back to Best of Tens. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share the force by sharing this video. The Rise of the Mandalorian The Mandalorian is a series created for the streaming service Disney Plus, which premiered in 2019 and was the first live-action series of its kind within the Star Wars franchise. No one expected that this space western would be something that everyone would obsess about. And it wasn't just because of the cute little Yoda that they included as a MacGuffin to the show to connect its rather unfamiliar and new character, Mando, to the wider Star Wars lore. Instead, its characters, action, and all-too-familiar plot points served as putty for hardcore Star Wars fans to fall in love with. Then you may join our covert as we rebuild. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Set five years after the events of Return of the Jedi from the original trilogy, the series took the world by storm and presented an all-new approach to Star Wars storytelling. With Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni at the helm, The Mandalorian has now become the new standard for how new and old stories from the Star Wars universe will be told and has even led to the studio branching out into other standalone series, such as The Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan, which are all Star Wars heavy hitters. It was in fact banking on the mystery and unfamiliarity of The Mandalorian, which caught on to become such a huge wave in one of the most long-running and well-loved intergalactic Star Wars franchise. After two seasons of witnessing Mando build up his Beskar armor, fans have been wondering what's next for Mando, also known as Din Djarin, after completing his quest of bringing Grogu back to one iconic Jedi in fact, and being victorious against his fateful duel with Moff Gideon. The Book of Boba Fett One of the absolute treasures that spawned from the Mandalorian series was the reintroduction of an ultimate fan favorite from the original trilogy, the bounty hunter Boba Fett. And while he may only be another Mandalorian by the Beskar armor that he dons, Boba Fett is actually a direct clone taken from the sore soldier himself, Jango Fett. In The Mandalorian, we see Boba Fett come back to action and even reclaim his lost armor to complete his resurgence. His appearance also spawned a series of his own, the latest in the current features, with Fett now having taken over the title of Daimyo of Tatooine from the hut crime lord Jabba, who was later usurped by his major domo, Bib Fortuna, after Jabba's encounter with Luke and Leia Skywalker in Return of the Jedi. Fortuna was then killed by Baba Fett, who took over the throne as the new crime boss. Now it seems that in the same way the two heroes' paths have intertwined, they now cross again, as the Book of Boba Fett, particularly its Chapter 5 episode, was basically the Mandalorian Season 3 pilot, to everyone's glorious surprise. In fact, this episode of Boba Fett's show points out key history points that serve as the foundation of where the Mandalorian Season 3 will turn out to be. In it, we see Din Djarin securing a bounty with all his new weapons, including the Beskar Spear and the Dark Saber. And while Mando displays the incredible power of the saber, he also shows his difficulty at handling the lightsaber-like weapon. Eventually, he finds the armorer and Paz Vizsla, the two surviving members of his covert, who explain to him the history of the dark saber and even train him in using it. Mando finds out that the dark saber is the sacred blade of the Mandalorian people forged by Tar Vizsla, the first Mandalorian Jedi, and that whoever is its owner through rightfully won combat is also the rightful ruler of their home planet, Mandalore. 
Now while Mando may have been unaware of the mythical weapon's importance, in that he has now inadvertently staked a claim as the leader of Mandalore just by owning the Darksaber. It's clearly not a responsibility he wants, especially with his struggle to wield the heavy weapon. This might have just provided us a clearer idea of Din Djarin's character arc in Season 3, in which he has to come to terms with his destiny and accept the responsibility the Darksaber brings with it. He's already been tasked by the Armorer to redeem himself after admitting to breaking the Mandalore way by taking off his helmet. And according to the Creed, one can only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. Mandalore. And while the mines and Mandalore itself was said to have been famously destroyed during the Great Purge and the Night of a Thousand Tears, where the Galactic Empire used Imperial ships to bombard the planet, turning it to glass in order to eradicate the Mandalorians, it seems now that Season 3 may well show the possibility of our hero taking the desolate planet a visit, especially now with his newly souped up Naboo N1 Starfighter. And while Boba Fett's right hand, the assassin Fennec Shan did catch up with Mando at the end of the episode to enlist him as among Fett's needed hired muscle. Din Djarin agreed, but only after his intended visit to a powerful small friend. And while it may not be for certain how this crossover will continue to play out, it's evident that Mando will now play a bigger role in the Book of Boba Fett, leading to the start of his own Season 3. Mandalorian Season 3 Details while no specific dates have been provided for when The Mandalorian Season 3 could possibly be released, the third season has already been well confirmed by The Mandalorian executive producer and showrunner Jon Favreau during an interview in December 2021. He also confirmed that The Mandalorian will not run alongside The Book of Boba Fett. While the two have already crossed over each other and while we all await production for The Mandalorian Season 3, Disney Plus still has a couple of pretty impressive features coming up on its Star Wars TV. TV show Slate. Aside from the Book of Boba Fett closing up its season, we're also anticipating the highly awaited Obi-Wan Kenobi series, with Ewan McGregor returning to the role to fill in the gap years of the legendary Master Jedi, as well as the Andor TV series, expected to be a prequel to the Star Wars film Rogue One, which are both coming out within 2022. Then there's the Ahsoka series, starring Rosario Dawson, which was announced in 2020, with all these incredible Star Wars TV shows. Coming up on the Slate, we sure hope it won't take too long for production of The Mandalorian Season 3 to commence, especially since everyone's excited to see how young Grogu will turn out to be, or if the Green Saber Jedi Master Luke Skywalker will once again be seen in modern screens. But we're sure with all these beautiful features, time will simply flow as we show loyalty and commitment in the wait to Season 3 because simply said, this is the way. So, what do you think about The Mandalorian Season 3? All updated details. Let us know in the comments below. If you like this content, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you find The Mandalorian TV series boring, be sure to make your voice heard by hitting that dislike button twice to make sure the message comes clear. Afterwards, be sure to check out other videos from Best of Tens for more glorious entertainment.